the Piss Drano Show. So today, uh, it's going to be another mail call. Um, I got a bunch of stuff in. So I'd like to review some of it. And show you guys what I'm going to be doing. So first off, uh, let's start out with these. I got four brand new RS100s from NSDRC. Three purple and one red. So the plan is, and this is a new plan, so get ready. Um, I have the Mini B, and I ordered a Mini T. So, this one, the purple, is going to be the Mini B. The red is going to be the Mini T. And then these two purple are going in the Injora TRX-4M Tarantula build. Um, that's going to be brushless. All three of these are going to be brushless um, with Furitec ESCs and motors. So all three should be pretty badass. This guy, um, I put the stock motor and stuff back in it. Uh, it's still got the carbon fiber shock towers and a couple other things I did to it. I think I'm going to give this away. So, if we hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is only like 50-something away, I will give one lucky subscriber this Losi GJRX2. Comes with a remote, comes with everything that it comes with new... Uh, the only difference is this one's got nice shock towers uh, and a couple other little things. So, a thousand subscribers. Let's get these off here. A thousand subscribers get you your very own Low C JRXT. This exact car. So, um,. Good luck to everybody on that. Um, we'll do, like I said, we'll do the giveaway once we hit a thousand subscribers, and then one of you will get this uh, buggy. All right, let's get back to the mail call. So we got the servos. I think I'm gonna break the rest of these. So mini T, mini B. So here, Mini T, or Mini B, and Mini T, I've already got this stuff out here. So that's what will go in that one. We got our radio link receiver, tiny little guy. Um, I guess I got a mail call on this too, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. I've got some XT60s. I'm going to put these on every battery I have that's large scale or decent size scale. Then I've got some XT30s, which are going to go on these two guys uh, so I can run my mini batteries. So everything I have is either going to be XT60, XT30, or in the big trucks, you're going to have a Y that has a QS8 with two XT60s on it. So that's that. Uh, a couple other things. The purple. Um, I've already, I'm not going to be using this, but it's wicked looking and then the chameleon which is also very wicked looking <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these I'll 
find a project later on. Um, probably this will get used on the TRX-4M that I'm building. So it'll be purple, this purple, which is metal flake. It's pretty wicked. Um, one more thing. This is going to be my new background. I know you can't see it all in the camera, but uh, this is going to be, I'm going to hang this up in here, and this will be the background. NSDRC, steering you in the right direction. Nice big banner. So I'll get that hung up soon. Um, another thing I will tell you that the show Creighton, the ESC does work now, so we got that taken care of. So I got to finish up wiring on it as far as cleaning up the wires. All right, so let's get back to this mail call. You know me, I see something shiny and I just jump. So, um, we have front or rear, I don't know, rear A arms. These are adapters that take it from eight millimeter hex to a 12 mil millimeter hex. And that allows you to run these. Some Toyo tires. So those will... I got several sets of tires. So these might be going on there. I have some metal ones coming too that might be cool. Um, bumper and hinge pin holder. I uh, got some little body clips for the two of them um, another pinion gear front and rear shock towers so the purple one's gonna kind of match my show truck uh, it's gonna be loaded down with stuff Carbon fiber wing holders. That'll go on both of them. Uh, MIP main gear. Uh, by the way, the JRX2 will come with battery and charger, so don't forget that. What else do I have over here? I got a bunch of stuff, guys. <clears throat> Yesterday was a big mail call, so... So here we have the servo mount from NSDRC. Each one of these will have a servo mount. I got the MIP um, ball diff kit. MIP setting it down. Um, MIP drive shafts. Rear. These, I'm not sure what these are. I think these are for the front. Oh, they're for the front and rear. So I think this is, these are conversions for um, the JRX2 to put 12s on it. I'll have to check, but I think that's what that is. And then these are little printed nuts not sure what those go to I need to look at my lists um, so I also got these other servo mounts for these but I'm not going to use them I'm going to use the NSDRC ones obviously <clears throat> alright so let's so then along with all that we have the drive shafts for this one, the Mini T. Got the slipper, a 
adjustments. Here we got some chassis parts. Same thing with these. So this one will have all black hardware. This one's going to have all silver hardware. Got the Mini T shock tower. Very similar to how I did the Cratons. I didn't think of it that way, but uh, that's how it ended up. I got a ton of parts for this is the front shock tower or rear. I don't know, that's one of the shock towers. And keep digging that gear, motor mounting plate, all right that gets it in the box, good. So that's what I have so far. I have a bunch more stuff coming today and throughout next week. Um, but I should be able to start building. The first thing I'm going to do is do my soldering. Uh, I'm going to put the new connectors on the ESCs. I'm going to solder the connectors onto the motor. <clears throat> and uh, then I'll start changing over my batteries to the XT60s. So that'll be so much fun. Um, so, let's get all this stuff out of the way, and then I'll show you Oh, here's more part. These are chassis braces. So many plastic bags. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get this stuff situated so I can, you guys know I like to keep things organized. These are just spacers and washers. Alright, so all of this goes in the box. All of this goes in the box. I got to do soldering on all that and on this. These two can go in the box. I might reverse those wires. So I'm going to keep that out. So that is my box for the low CT and low CB. Tons of stuff. I gotta figure out what these two things go to. I'll look those up in a little bit. Alright, so next up in the mail call are these. Now H Tech decided that the Red Cat Ascent is their platform to do some major parts. Uh, so they made these two. This is a transmission plate, which is definitely needed. Needed a metal transmission plate. And these are the side um, sliders, I guess you can call them. Uh, and they have the body mount location things on it so both of these will be going on to the red cat ascent not the 18 the ascent i completed that a while ago but when new parts come out i like to update my rides so um the ascent will be getting this new stuff so on my build list let's go i'll get this so so far, all I have 
for my TRX-4 and Belder the servos. Um, wheels, extensions, the transmission from Majora. This is their new transmission. And then I got a cedar and a python in a box back there that'll be going in this. And I got the chassis that'll be going in this. So I'm waiting on my links, my drive shafts, my shocks, all that good stuff. All that's ordered for the TRX 4M build, the Enjora TRX build. So all that, what little it is there. So what's that mean? That means I've got, I'm building a Mini B, Low C Mini B, Low C Mini T, a Traxxas TRX 4M Enjora build. And then I'm going to do another Red Cat Ascent 18 build. Now, Jorah is sending me some stuff that they've got coming out for it. Um, so, I'm going to build it using... It's not going to be a full upgrade like the last one I built. This is going to be um, what normal people would do. I know that sounds stupid, but I'm not normal. Um, that's why all my shit's to the max. But this TRX-4M is going to be set up to crawl. It's going to, not TRX for him. The Red Cat Ascent 18 is going to be built to crawl. Uh, purpose built. It's not going to be heavy. It's not going to be light. It's not going to be fast. Uh, it's just going to be purpose built crawler. Um, so, I don't know if it'll be brushless. We'll see. I might just leave the stock stuff in it first. I've never done that, but I might. We'll see. Um, so that's today's show. I just wanted to do the mail call. Now I got to get busy soldering. Once I get all the soldering done, um, I'll probably start doing the wiring on... The show truck, the show by Creighton, and uh, we'll go from there. I have a feeling this slotting is going to take me all day, so tomorrow we might work on the Creighton, and then we'll start on these projects. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd like to show you what I'm getting and from where I'm getting it from so that you yourself can do the same or similar if you want to. Uh, and that's what my channel is all about, modern RC everything. So if it's an RC, we like to mod it, everything. So, like the TRX 4 build, that's from ground up. So that's modern RC everything. There's not one stock part in it. Um, so that's what I like to do. And then I like to show you guys what I'm getting, where I'm getting it from. So you have an idea of what's coming and you can think about how it's going to look, how it's going to perform. I'm not much on showing videos of going out and driving because I don't get out very often. I can tell you that I will be getting out for my basher to get that thing up in the sky uh, and do some massive jumps with it. So, and by the way, I started them both up and they are violent. That motor in ESC from Hobby Wing, just violent. Uh, I don't know if you can see the sitting on my table. I had one of them here blip the throttle on accident. And it didn't go forward. It spun out. It melted my table. So these are not watermarks. These are melted rubber. Melted rubber 
from blipping the throttle on the basher truck. Just insane. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I appreciate your time. If you like it, please subscribe. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna give this bad boy away. And then um, we'll go from there. Uh, eventually, uh, I'd like to be giving away cars all the time, but we got to see if we can get this YouTube thing up and going. So, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. I hope your week is going good. Um, and we'll talk to you next time on the Pistorano Show. Thanks, everybody.